The F-15 almost took to the seas aboard Navy aircraft carriers, but it hasn't happened. To transform the F-15 into a carrier-based interceptor like the F-14 would have necessitated significant design changes. These modifications would likely have resulted in a hybrid beast that was inferior to either the F-15 or the F-14. The Air Force and Navy have always had distinct requirements, which further complicated the adaptation process. In 1971, McDonnell Douglas proposed the F-15 15N, unofficially dubbed the Sea Eagle. The Sea Eagle would have required adjustments such as folding wings and stronger landing gear. McDonnell Douglas believed that due to the F-15's excellent thrust-to-weight ratio and good visibility, it could be adapted for carrier operations. However, the carrier modifications would have made the Sea Eagle 3,000 pounds heavier than the land-based version. The fundamental issue lies in the divergent requirements of the Air Force and Navy, making seamless adaptation challenging. 